guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? You should be seeing this if you see the title, uh, Wings Final Update for September. This is part two, but you should be seeing this sometime during the week of October 3rd. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So please go and check out my Etsy shop. I did just have an Etsy shop update about a week ago. There are still a ton of Halloween and spooky style stitch markers available. And I did put a lot of my other stitch markers on Markdown. Uh, so please go and check it out. If you can't purchase, that's fine. If you could just favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help a whole lot. So I live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots, and I have one rescue dog, his name is Camo. And this year, along with the past couple of years, you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in Chicago called Wings. Uh, all the information for Wings will be down below in the description box. And there's one extra link that I wanna point out to you, and that is they are doing a coat drive until October 18th, I believe. So the wish list that they have for their coats is down below if you want to go and check it out like if you have Amazon Prime and you get free shipping and you can um, send a coat to them that would be amazing the coat would go directly to them and not to me um, so they agreed the past couple years to provide us with a list of items that they are looking for that are handmade. So it can be crocheted, knitted, hand knitted, or loom knitted, sewn, hand sewn, purchased, however you want to do it. <clears throat> so the list is down below um, every video. It's also a pinned announcement in the Facebook group. I'm not going to go over the whole spiel. Um, go check out the first part of part one. I talked a lot about um, some admin stuff and information, um, but I do want to let you know that what I'm showing here today is mostly hat and scarf sets or hat and cowl sets. That was for the month of September. Please do not send in any more hat and scarf sets. I I um, ask you nicely to please uh, keep them, donate them locally, um, save them for next year if we're gonna do this next year, but please don't send in any more because they are getting ready for their coat drive and I don't have much more time to bring stuff over there. Okay, so for the month of October, which is the month we're in, they were asking for lovies. And I actually have a lovey here, still sitting here from part one that I'll show you. This is what they're looking for. It can be a crocheted head or a knitted head with a blanket attached. It can be one where you make the blanket separately and it's a full size doll. Um, that's what they're looking for for October. Uh, for November, they're looking for toys for boys. Uh, so whatever you think is appropriate for a boy, you can knit it, it can be amigurumi, you can crochet it, however you wanna do it. And they're also gonna be accepting two baby blankets per household. So if you have some baby blankets you wanna send off, we will take two per person per household. So for this update for this week, I have 35 packages and I can't show 35 packages in one video, so I've broken it up. So part one, which you probably already saw, had 12 donations. We're gonna do 12 donations in this video and we'll do 11 donations in part three. So we're just gonna get started. I encourage you, if you didn't see part one, to go back and check it out. I always encourage you to leave a positive comment and if you did donate, come back in a day or two and read all the comments because people say some really nice things about you. All right, so we're going to get started. So hopefully this video isn't too long. Um, the first donation I have is actually two packages from the same person. And that would be Mary. And Mary is from Michigan. Hi, Mary. And I have a note here in the first package. And it says, Hi, Rose, this set was made with yarn from my stash. I know it's 100% acrylic, but that's about it. I held two strands together for a bulky five weight. This is Bag o Day pattern for Crystal's Chocolate Bonbon Beanie and Scarf uh, slash Infinity Scarf. Her patterns are wonderful. Love as always, you and your amazing channel keep smiling and they have been washed from Mary. Oh, Mary, thank you so much. Okay, so she's, oh, she did make it bulky. Okay, so here is the hat. So it's a Chocolate Bonbon Beanie and she held two strands of a four weight together and made it into a bulky five. So there's the hat. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And there is the scarf. So she put them both in separate bags. That's beautiful. Mary, I, I don't know, you know, I guess I never thought about holding two strands together, <laughs> making it a five, although I know you can do that. Okay, in the second package, she writes, 
Hi, Rose. Hope all is well with you, Carrots, and your fur baby. Thanks for all you do. Really don't know how you can keep up with everything. The hat is Bag o Days Chocolate Bon Bon Beanie, and the cowl is Knit. I kind of sort of followed a pattern, but don't remember the name of it. Both are in Craft Smart Fiesta. Thanks again. Love washing. Watching has been washed from Mary. Okay, so here is... Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can see the bottom of the hat. That is so pretty. And then the knitted, the knitted scarf, the loom knitted scarf. Oh my gosh, Mary, these sets are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for taking the time to send them in and wash them and tell us all about them. And I really, really do appreciate you a whole lot. All right, we're going to get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Adrian, and Adrian is from Texas. And I didn't see a note in the package, but Adrian, let us know down below in your in the comments if you can. The return address is Central Texas Treasures. So if you can let us know if you have an Etsy shop or um, a website or somewhere where we can go to check out your stuff, please let us know. I appreciate that. So I have two little bags here, and the first one says shawl, hat, and fingerless gloves. 100% superwash merino and I'm pretty sure it's beautiful but you know sometimes that variegated yarn is really hard to see a pattern but it's in there and it, it's got all the instructions here and this is um it's a scooty and it's 100% acrylic oh my gosh I know this is a red heart yarn and I'm not going to take it out of the bag because I'll never get it back in there but look at the colors on that Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So a scooty is like a hood and it's got like um, uh, either like a scarf wrapped around it or some something to keep your neck warm, which was one of the things we were requesting. And again, remember, please do not send in any more winter sets if you haven't already done so. So Adrian, thank you so much for sending the beautiful sets. Um, I would really love to see what this looks like, um, but I don't have time, but I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from someone from Canada. His name is Gary, and you guys all know Gary. His uh, channel is called Urban Yarn. Hi, Gary. And um, you guys, if you're not already subscribed to him, I don't know why, you got to go over there and subscribe to him. He does absolutely beautiful work. Um, and I kind of knew this was coming because he talked about it on his channel. Anyway, he sent me a thank you card. You guys are so sweet and I absolutely adore you, Gary. Okay, and he writes to Rose Carrots and the Zoo. Hope you are well and enjoying your summer. What's left of it? Uh, please find inside two winter sets for wings donations. These were so much fun to knit. No patterns, just knitting in the round. The yarn is Hirschner's Worsted 8 Stripes. 100% acrylic, easy care washing instructions. I admire all the wonderful makes from the yarn community I see. Every month they are so inspiring. Thank you, Rose, for all you do for wings. Making videos and organizing takes an incredible amount of time. Your friend from Canada, Gary. Oh my gosh, Gary. Thank you so much for sending these beautiful sets. So here is the hat again, if you didn't get a good look at it. You guys, this is not machine knitted. This is Gary's little fingers working themselves to the bones. <laughs> Gary, you're my hero because I'm pretty sure I could not do that. Okay, so there's one set and here is the second hat. Oh my gosh, this is so much work. Gary, are you serious? Thank you so much for sending these beautiful sets for the people here at Wings in Chicago. I really do appreciate that. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I thank you so much. And you guys, Gary will be linked down below um, in the description box. So please go and check him out. And as for Canada people, um, you guys, oh, he's got the tags in here. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so here's the tag if you guys want to see Hirschner's Worsted Stripes yarn. And it is a number four. Um, so um, Canada people will be entered into a separate drawing for thank you gifts at the end of the year. So, um, Gary, thanks again so much. I appreciate this. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box, the return address actually says anonymous and anonymous is from Idaho and Idaho. Thank you so much. I'm just going to call you Idaho. <laughs> so wait till you guys see what's in the box. It was kind of heavy. And so I was a little concerned, but I'll show you what made the box heavy. <laughs> Okay, this set says youth size, 8 to 12 year old hat and cowl set. Look at how beautiful that is. The cowl is right inside there. Oh my gosh. Okay, that needs to go with my kids pile. 
And then this one also says youth size, eight to 12 year old hat and cowl set. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so pretty. This is using Yarn Bee Tender Touch and the color is called Rose. This one was using Charisma by Loops and Threads, which is a Michaels brand. Okay, so that's not what was making the box heavy, you guys. <laughs> this person is from Idaho, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these in there, and it's called an Owie Idaho Spud, the candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Oh my gosh, what is in here from the Idaho Candy Company? And it doesn't say what's in there. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. Seriously? Oh my. Okay, so it's got to be something with potatoes in it, right? Let me just see here real quick. Well, there's chocolate. That's all that matters. I'll eat it. <laughs> So, Anonymous, thank you so much for sending all the candy bars. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Um, I'm not sharing these, just so you know, with anyone. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Idaho. And more, more importantly, thank you so much for the, the kids' sets. I really do appreciate that. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Kelly, and Kelly is from Wisconsin, my neighbor to the north, and let's see what she says. Hello, Rose. Enclosed are a few hat sets, no patterns, all machine washable and dryable. dryable. I'm really excited to make some lovies next. Blessings from Kelly. Oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Okay, so Kelly, these look like they're kind of small. Are these like adult sizes or kid sizes? Let me know. So here is one. This is Addy Knitting Machine. There's a hat and a scarf. Here is another hat and a scarf. Look at the little pom-pom. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love them. Hat and the scarf. Oh, I love the colors on these. They're so gorgeous. This one has a little bit of pink and green in there. This one is all of this like denim-y blue. Oh, look at this one. That's really pretty. I am loving these. Okay, here's another one. There's the hat and the scarf. And then we have this set in here, which is a hat. Um, it's a hat and looks like an ear warmer. So there's that one right there. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. Here is a hat. Oh, it's it's a neck warmer hat and a neck warmer and that's little so i'm thinking these are all kids sets so kelly let me know in the comments down below otherwise i'm just going to put these in with the kids stuff they're absolutely beautiful thank you so much for sending all of them her box was overflowing <laughs> so thank you again kelly i appreciate that all right let's get to the next one all right you guys the next box comes from cheryl and she's from washington and i did not see a note in the package but I did see two big bags full of items here. And there's washing instructions on this one. So it says how to wash it. And it's super heavy and thick. This looks like um, Lion Brand Hometown USA. So there is a hat. You can see the ribbing right there. This is super heavy duty, you guys. And then here it is so pretty. And then there is the cowl. I know it's hard to see that. And then this one says machine wash warm. Oh, it says see note on back. Okay, so let me see what the note on the back says. Um, the fur pom-pom is attached with a snap so it can be, re be removed to wash the hat. Oh my God, that is so kind of you to actually put that on there. So here is the hat and there is the pom-pom, big furry pom-pom there. And then the cowl is in the same yarn, obviously. So thank you so, so much for sending these amazing, amazing sets. Cheryl and everyone else who's donated, I really, really, really do appreciate you guys so much. Um, they're going to have a great selection to choose from, and hopefully everyone will stay warm this winter. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Connie, and Connie's from California, and I did not see a note in the package, but I do see some beautiful things, so let me show you guys this gorgeous hat. It's like all front post, and there is a scarf. Oh my gosh, and then check this out. How adorable with the flower. 
little hat and a scarf with the fringes on it. I'm pretty sure that's a kid's set, so I'm going to put it with the kid's stuff. Oh, this is probably kids too. It's minions. Oh my gosh, a hat and a scarf. Here looks like an adult set. This is also that front post. And there's a scarf in there too. I got to keep the kids stuff separate, you guys. Here is another little set. Oh, with a flower. Look at that, you guys. So sweet. And a scarf. Okay, I'm keeping that with the kids stuff too. I'm pretty sure this is a kid set as well. Here's the hat. And look at the trim on the scarf. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then there was a couple of extra items in there. Cheryl, let me know what you want me to do with these. Um, they're only accepting sets right now. So there's two, three hats. Um, maybe you'd be okay if I sent these over to Lisa at Happy to Hook Creations because Wings is not taking singles. And look at this precious little purse. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. So Cheryl, let me know what you want me to do with these four items. Um, they're all so gorgeous. I mean, this is like one of my favorite ones and I just love, I love all the sets that you sent. They're absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next set, or the next set, the next box that I got comes from Marianne and I actually got to meet Marianne a couple months ago. She dropped off donations in person. So hi, Marianne. Sorry, we couldn't meet up again. Um, and I got this card and let's see what she says rose winter sets for wings i enclosed a separate note with the details with the chilly weather i think these will be used sooner than later in this area thank you for all you do uh so for those of you who aren't familiar with the chicago area we have lows coming later this week at like 40 in the low 40s <laughs> so yeah we, we don't even wait for like winter we get cold real fast okay so here are the details and by the way um in the last donation when i was talking about if i could donate those items to lisa there are two people that are accepting donations i know for sure there's probably more but lisa at happy to hook creations she accepts donations but you'd have to message her to see um what she's taking and they are also collecting blankets for uh, boggy creek from nancy at she's got yarn so if you're interested in um sending like i think they're kid size blankets they're not baby blankets um please go and check out nancy's channel and then lisa's channel for more information okay so here we go, um, the rose and green sets. Okay, so let me find them. Rose and green sets. Oh, okay, so these are definitely kid sets here. She says these are child hat and keyhole scarf set ages three to seven using Lion Brand Respun and the red heart is green variegated. So there's the hat and scarf. And there is the hat and scarf with that one. So those will go in my kids pile, which is getting pretty big. <laughs> then we have, okay, Ferris wheel yarn, Ferris wheel yarn. Here's Ferris wheel yarn, bag of day hat pattern, and just a V-stitch V scarf. You can see that. And then we have big twist yarn, blue and yellow. Here we go. So you can see the blue. And then you can see the yellow and it says the hats are bag of day easy beanie and the scarf and or cowl is the m a howard pattern called tire tread inspired by zelda z uh zelda nrj3 so i'm not going to open it up but you can see what the colors are there and then we have uh mainstay purples and pinks so there's that so mainstay is a walmart brand Hat is the Bag O'Day Easy Beanie, and the cowl is the M.A. Howard, inspired by Zelda, Zelda NRJ3 cowl. So there's the cowl in there. And then we have Big Twist Camel. Oh, that's so pretty. Bag O'Day Easy Beanie, and the scarf is just front post, double crochet, and double crochet. Love it. Red Heart Retro Stripes. It's so pretty. Hat is bag of day and the scarf is just the Jada in stitches corner to corner. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then a uh, big twist camel bag of day chocolate bomb. Oh, there's there's a couple things in here. Maybe I missed something. Um, maybe that one is the camel bag of day. That's not chocolate bomb bomb beanie. I'm not sure which one I missed. 
Something was a chocolate bonbon beanie and the cowl was front post double crochet. Um, oh, I missed one, sorry. Fiber spider divine hat in big twist camel and a front post double crochet uh, and double crochet cowl. So that's the fiber spider. And I think I missed something on this one, but that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Marion, thank you so much for sending all the information on there. If anyone has any questions on that, let me know. I save all the notes and stuff so I can go back and take a look at it if you have questions. <laughs> oh, I love all the hats and scarves, you guys. All right, so we're going to get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Susan, and she's in a town here in northern Illinois, and she sent this beautiful card. You can't see, but it's got like gold dots on it. And let's see what she says here. Hi, Rose. Hope all is well. The adult hat and scarf set enclosed is a pattern by Bag o Day. Easy crochet corner to corner hat and scarf. Okay, so this, this is it. Oh my gosh. And she's got it in a big bag with instructions and removable pom-poms. And um, okay, so I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so pretty. And look at the scarf. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then she says the child's green and white, which is this one. Um, stripe set is from the book Giving Back Crochet by Jonah Larson. That's awesome. So this will be with my children's stuff. The other two children's hat and scarf sets are Bag O Day Pattern, Easy Crochet Beanie, and Scarf Tutorial number 554. Thank you so much from Sue. Ah, oh, Sue, thank you so much. Look at how pretty that is with the purple pom-pom. Oh my gosh, and wait, here's the other kid set. Look at how pretty that one is too, with the big blue pom-pom. Oh my gosh, and the scarves are in there too. Sue, thank you so much for sending all of these gorgeous sets and labeling them and just putting them in bags. And thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate everyone's help with wings. All right, we have two more boxes to go, guys. All right, you guys, I just looked and the last two boxes are from the same person. Uh, it's Sandra from Missouri. So I have a note here inside the, one of the boxes. And she says, good morning, Rose. I hope you carrots and camo are all doing well. Here are my donations for September. I made them from tutorials from Bag O Day, Fiber Flux, and Jada in Stitches. The yarn I used, I bought at a thrift store near me where I live. Someone had donated a huge amount of yarn and I bought a lot of it. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Also, there are three sets from a good friend of mine. Her name is Tammy. I told her about wings and that this month's donations were winter sets. And she brought me three sets to send in along with my donations. That's so amazing. Tammy and Sandra, thank you so much. P.S. The yarns that I had ball bands, I'm including them with the sets. The waffle stitch set was made with Vanna's Choice yarn. I've misplaced the ball band somewhere and can't send it along. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I know your channel is a no apologies channel. Oh no, but you know that's coming, right? I do though feel I need to apologize for my penmanship. <laughs> okay. All right, that's fine. I woke up this morning with a sinus headache and I'm determined to get mine and Tammy's donations ready to send off to you before I go to work. Thank you for all you do and God bless you, Sandra. Okay, so Sandra is Sunshine from, oh, so maybe she has a YouTube channel. If I can find it, I'll link it. Sunshine's Crochet Corner. So if I can find it, I will link it down below. So Sandra and Tammy, thank you so much for sending all these sets. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's purple, it's corner to corner. It's gorgeous. There's a scarf, oh my gosh. Okay, this one has a tag, Premier Puzzle. Oh my gosh, this works up so pretty. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And there is a cowl inside. And then we have this one here. There's a hat and a cowl. You can see the button there. Here is another corner to corner. Oh, this is the ombre yarn. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You guys did an amazing job. Okay, here's the waffle stitch one that you were talking about. Oh yeah, look at the texture on that. That is amazing. Okay, here is another, looks like a corner to corner. 
There's the hat. Look at that big fat scarf. I love it. And here is the last one. And this is also corner to corner with the ombre yarns. And there's the scarf in there. So Sandra and Tammy, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful sets. I hope you felt better that day. I appreciate you getting that box out and I'll accept your apology for your penmanship, but I was able to read it just fine. So you're totally good. So that's it for part two. I hope you guys have already watched part one. Check it out. Um, it's the last wings update video and then keep an eye out for part three, which will be coming in the next day or two. Remember, to like and share this video if you can and uh, make a positive comment down below and just remember please don't send in any more hat and scarf sets because this is the last hurrah for this year um, and we will see you in part three we'll talk to you later bye